Hello and welcome back to my lockdown haircut. It's a transformation, right? It's a bit different considering the last time you saw me, I was about this part of my body was like 85% hair. But that's not why we're here. Today we are continuing our playthrough of the 1995 season on the original Formula One game, a game I've never completed. And I'm doing it with John Lacey because uh, I think he deserved better in Formula One. So we are working together to improve our respective records. Today we are going to a track that is a classic in the Formula One calendar. We are going to Imola for the San Marino Grand Prix. My name's Ash. This is The Outside Line. So these are the standings after two rounds. We lead the World Championship after our unexpected win in Argentina. Alessi, Hill and Schumacher all had to fight through the pack. We did it best and got the win and take the lead. We've only scored for Ferrari, no help from Gerhard Berger, so we are starting to fall behind Williams and Benetton, but we are at least in touch. Still all to play for. Round three next. Welcome to Imola for the San Marino Grand Prix 1995. Oh, okie dokie. So, it's raining again, which might be good for us considering what happened last time. It'd be a good chance to find out if the AI were randomly slow in Argentina or if they're just always slower in the wet we'll we'll get some answers now at least with Imola I'm more familiar with the track why do I even speak why massive Mackie sign there on the right hand side lovely stuff also another chance to test the theory if we'll see different weather in different sessions across the weekend or if we're just gonna see rain again. First raced here in 1980, but not as the San Marino Grand Prix, it actually was a stand-in for Monza, the only time that Monza has not hosted the Italian Grand Prix. Uh, Monza was being refurbished, I think a lot of it was to do with updating for modern safety standards, or modern at the time. But it was such a popular race, Formula One went back in 1981 as the San Marino Grand Prix and raced there until 2006 when the contract wasn't renewed. The 1995 San Marino Grand Prix was notable, if only for the fact as a, a result of what happened in the 1994 San Marino Grand Prix. After a weekend full of accidents and the deaths of Roland Ratzenberger and Ayrton Senna, from there, massive safety changes started to come into the sport. So the 1995 San Marino Grand Prix, as a result, was the first ever run with this track layout. The layout that they had changed as a result of those deaths last year. So there are three new chicanes, one of which I'm going through now at Tamburello. The next one up here at Villeneuve. And the third one is the basically the final chicane before you cross the finish line. Now, once again, time for my obligatory setup check in the pits. Oh, pit straight on, pit straight on. <laughs> if I can remember where the pits are. Whoops, okay. And what I did this time was knock the downforce down. Yes, it is still raining, but it's a much faster track by comparison, so I thought that would help. We'll see how that goes. Okay, into qualifying we go. And on pole in real life was Michael Schumacher. Then in second place, Gerhard Berger, so our teammate in real life, had an absolute stormer. In fact, I think he was only like seven or eight thousandths off the pole time. Alacy qualified down in fifth behind the two Williams of Coulthard and Hill. Hakkinen was sixth and rounded out the top six English. So, rain again. I'm starting to think we are just going to have full on rain throughout a whole weekend or dry weather throughout a whole weekend i think that's how it's going to be so far whoever got pole in real life has gotten pole in the game so at the minute it schumacher that seems right i read online that the game follows the real life grids in the dry but not in the wet which if you remember the grid from last time which was mental um that seems to be true Oh, mate. So Hill is on a 
and I did a 140.8 in practice. That is absolutely atrocious. I could be at, I could be at the back here. Why can I not do this? How can I be fine not knowing Argentina, but then know him? Like, what is going on? Right, this is going to be better than our practice time. So 10 seconds away, 16th. So the field spread might come to our aid a little bit here. Now I decided because of my instability through all the corners, I decided to knock the downforce up one notch. So we were back dead center to see if that improved anything. Oh. Whoops. What is that? It's it's a Benetton. That might be Schumacher. I can stick with him for a bit. Might see where I'm losing. I might be losing time there, to come to think of it. Yep, that's, uh, is that a Williams? Shall we go past? It is a Willy. This feels like a long qualifying session. That's a huge cut. I'm like five seconds behind usually. I mean, I'm three and a half now, perspective, but still, that's... And little did I know this would be the last of my 12 laps, so if I was going to improve, it had to be now. Looks better towards the line. Oh, 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 oh wow. Am I glad that that happened? <laughs> so, the starting lineup is Schumacher on pole from Damon Hill in second place. Heinz Harald Frensen, an incredible third place in the Sauber. <laughs> what the hell is this game? The two Simtex are fourth and fifth. We are sixth as John Lacey. Badoa is in seventh. Deniz in eighth. Johnny Herbert's in ninth. Gerhard Berger qualifies in tenth. My two nearest championship rivals are first and second on the grid so they are not having to fight through traffic we are behind them the plus side is between us are cars we should hopefully dispatch pretty easily in the form of the two simtex frenson in the sauber so in real life second place good old john lacy it was a really good weekend for ferrari this burger was fighting for the win and then he stalled in the pit lane and ended up finishing third so it was a Ferrari 2-3. Could we now finally improve John Lacey's win record? It's an okay start. We're immediately, <laughs> immediately gaining on the... Oh, I'm boxed in by the Simtex. Joss Verstappen with a classic move. <laughs> And Verstappen's got past his teammate. Right, let's get... Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, dear. No, that was a bad start, believe it or not. Oh, and we're behind Johnny Herbert. Oh, dear. This has gone badly. This has gone badly. Herbert's trying to make a move. I don't feel comfortable at all. Come on. Straight line speed on the Simtex, though, will help us. Right, we're back to where we started. Up behind Johnny Herbert. We're going to make a move up here. And we're through. That, that, was, that was good. Okay, is this, is this Verstappen, I'm assuming? And we are immediately losing touch with our championship rivals. But again... <laughs> oh, we got there. This game, how have they got there in qualifying? I, their straight line speed is abysmal. <laughs> And immediately you can see Hill and Schumacher kind of going off away from Frensen in third. Getting a Red Bull livery on the podium before it was cool. I'm a, I'm a bit of a Heinz Harold Frensen fan. In the last race, he qualified 25th and finished 10th, so I would love to see him get some points. Not more points than me though, son. Bye-bye now. Bye-bye. 
I'm, I've not mentioned this before actually, but the performance levels of the cars are supposed to be reflective of 1995. So, Williams and Benetton are supposed to be the quickest, followed by Ferrari and McLaren. So, pretty much straight line speed, we would be better than everyone else. Just better than the McLarens. And... Oh, my word. And we should be kind of a little bit down on power com oh, compared to the Williams and the Benetton, but once again, in the wet, we seem to have the measure of them. Schumacher leads. Hill is still there. That spray is awful. Okay, so I still feel like I've got the measure of these two in these conditions, especially on straight line speed. But they're certainly not pushovers. Oh, oh my god. I've got oh I've got that very wrong. Jeez. At the minute it's the spray that's throwing me off. Cause I'm kind of closing in on them with straight line speed. For whatever reason. Be it, be it maybe slipstream or just I don't know, the way I've got the car set up. But when I get just about close to them and I'm in the spray, I just I feel Weird about making a dive. Might get back past Hill though on this one. Round we go. That was decent there. Nice and clear. Oops. The thing is, if I do. If I do get on the grass and spin round, it is a lot of time lost. And also, the, like I say, you can lose. Lose your wings on this game and lose all your downforce and because we've got it set up for sprint races yeah yeah you don't you don't want to waste that time in the pits because no one else is going in there Berger sick though that's good he's yet to score for us this season so good to see him in the points that might give Ferrari a chance in the constructors at the minute we've set the fastest lap Again, there's definitely some <laughs> uh, some tomfoolery though, and a quick, a definite quirk of the game, because there's no way. Yo, oh, Schumacher's hit me. Oh, he's hit me. But he's oh, but we're through. That's contentious. I kind of looked and then thought to back out, but. It was too late, and now Hill's all over Schumacher. Well, I kind of want to watch what's going on there, but I should probably watch where I'm going. Oh, no, no, no. No, it's happened immediately. <laughs> no. And I've been punted around. Oh. Oh. Right, okay, we've got a race on our hands now. Jeez. Wow, okay. That, um... I'm not even sure I lost then. I wasn't on the kerb. I, maybe I took too much of the kerb on the inside, but it just started to go around. Nearly saved it, and then on the save rejoin, I just got punted round. Five laps to go to try and get back in the podium. And it's Herbert. Bloody hell, Herbert's had an incredible recovery. Anyway, as I was saying before that happened, in the wet, we are definitely benefiting from a quirk of the gameplay. Like I say, they're on the hardest setting. My qualifying time was five seconds slower. And that was what, 136? At the minute, 142 is the fastest lap set by me. I just get a bit twitchy when I get close to them, right? We have at least caught up to Herbert, and you can see the top two there. Could still win this race. 139 there. I'm going for it past Herbert. Got the run in. Oh, that's all. Oh, no, come no, not again. Oh, for crying out. <laughs> 
this is why they take it slow. They don't make these mistakes. They don't push it and make these mistakes. They are just consistent, but slow. I wonder if this is going to be most of our season, you know, because in real life, in 1995, I think there were nine, nine wet races of the, out of the 17. And I think, was it four? Four of them were red flagged on the first lap. Oh, oh, uh, that was a bit. Lap six. Lap seven. We've had six laps. I'm going to shut up. Oh, no! How do I keep doing this? All I need to do is just consistent, consistently drive. Now, as you can see, my picture has just disappeared again. I've not hit the record limit, but my battery died on the camera. I had fully charged it as well. I'm clearly not good at this video making stuff. Glad it's not my day job. Anyway, I've still got my audio, so let's get back to the chase. All I had to do, same drill as Argentina, was keep it on the track. And I have now gone off the road three times. We are chasing Johnny Herbert, Frenson behind us, Berger currently in sixth, hopefully going to score some points of his own. Schumacher opening out a lead now. Let's overtake Johnny Herbert again. <laughs> this time, let's try and stay ahead of him. Hill is just up the road. I'm not doing it past the chicane. We're going to follow through the chicane and go down. Next left hander. Got the run again. Round the outside. It's lovely, lovely stuff. Same place again past Herbert. Well, I'll tell you what, it's supposed to be two seconds between them. It certainly doesn't look like it. They look pretty close together. Back into the podium positions. One place down on our objective. Oh, hang on. It's not. It's a back marker. It's a 40 forward. And this can change things massively. Because... While I may not be the most proficient at getting past the bat markers, the AI leaders aren't either. They can get held up as well. It's one of these Damon Hill. I think it is. I think he's being held up. Oh, and, oh I think they must have hit through there. Thank you, whoever you are. Because Damon Hill, liking this corner, going to move out, going to break move done and we are through the gap is 5.7 seconds up to Michael Schumacher I think he might be too far ahead oh no oh you are I need a, I need a moment just to um, just to process my own stupidity. I cannot believe I finished fourth there. That should have been a win. <laughs> that should have been a win, and that wasn't even bad luck, Alacy. That was me. So Schumacher wins from Hill, from Herbert, Alacy fourth, Rubens Barrichello scores, Berger in sixth, Frentzen just drops out of the points. We get the fastest lap, but quite frankly, who gives a sh costly? costly mistakes. Michael Schumacher takes the lead of the championship. Hill in second. We are in third. Benetton now take the lead of the Constructors' Championship. Williams in second. Uh, we are in third. It is now a true team effort now that Berger has scored, but it could have been a completely different story. An absolute <laughs> show. Next time we are in Spain for what I hope will be a dry race because honestly even if I'm quick in wet weather I don't care anymore <laughs> thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed the video drop us a like it helps grow the channel and if you enjoyed it and want to see how the series turns out please do subscribe I have no idea I feel like I can do it but you know must try harder